Hello, my name is Laura Jimenez. I am part of the technical support team of ComUp, and in this session we will be talking about the Ethernet ports present in the Intelligent 1000 controller and its most important features. The controller has three RJ45 Ethernet ports. Port number one is designed for trusted connections, and we can use it to connect directly to a display or for connection to a local network. Port number two is designed on, for untrusted connections where access must be restricted and you must enter a previously configured username and password. And port number three does not have any function assigned yet. Let's see how to make a simple configuration in Ethernet port one. The connection using Ethernet port number one is expected to be a trusted local network where there are other external security measures, infrastructure, or restricted environment to prevent network misuse and cyber attacks. This means this is a less strict connection in terms of cyber security. In our case, we already have our controller physically connected to a local network via Ethernet port. On the screen, you will see that we are already connected to the controller using IntelliConfig software, but through the USB port. So let's go to the set point screen, Ethernet 1 group, and there we will configure the direct connection port, which refers to the TCP port configured for connection to the controller, then IP address mode to select the method how we will connect to the Ethernet network. We can set it to automatic in case the address is assigned by the DHCP server, and we can verify the assigned address in the values window as shown in the screen. Let's see the status of this connection. Or we can also set it in manual, as in the case we will do, where we must then enter the IP address, subnet mask, and gateway IP. All this data must be supplied by the network administrator. And then we only need to disable the IP firewall set point, which is used to enable or disable the communication restrictions and only allows the connection to specific devices within the network. Now, let's try this network configuration to connect to the controller using IntelliConfig software. See that it already appears in the column of automatically detected controllers? In this case, you can double click on the icon or we can only need, we only need to enter the IP address. We don't need to enter the access code. We must place the address of the controller. And we don't need either the username or password for this because it's a trusted connection. And here we are already connected. Let's see now the configuration for the Ethernet port 2. This is a general purpose port and it is expected that it might be exposed to public networks such as internet, which cannot be regulated by the network administrator and may be exposed to cyber attacks. Therefore, strict cyber security rules should be applied. On the screen, you see that we are connected using USB port again. So we go to set points button and then Ethernet group 2. And we can see that the number of set points are higher for the Ethernet port 2 compared to the set points of Ethernet port 1, because there are more functions that are supported by this connection. But at this point, we are only going to configure the ones needed to make a simple connection. Let's start by enabling the direct connection. Now let's configure the direct connection port parameter, which refers to the TCP port used. And then let's go to IP address mode to select the method how we will connect to the Ethernet network. Remember that in automatic is for DHCP server assignment of IP address. Let's see the assigned address in the values. or in manual option to assign the values of the IP address. 
the network submask and the IP address of the gateway given by the network administrator. In the same way, we configure the IP firewall to enable or disable the firewall restrictions if we require it. For this case, we're not going to use it. Now we only need to test the connection through this port number two. So we open in teleconfig, we go to online connection tab, or we can also using the auto detected driver icon with the RJ45 port. Or we can enter the IP address. We don't need the access code. We must enter the address of the controller and for this connection it is necessary to enter the username and the password. Because this is an untrusted connection so we can successfully log in. Then we press open. And now we are connected using this interface Ethernet number two. We are at the end of the session. Please contact our technical support channels if you have any question and we hope to see you in the next tutorials.